Here are two things you need to be doing to make sure your MCAT scores don't go from this on practice tests to this on the real thing. My name's Luke, I scored a 520 on the MCAT and I've been a full-time MCAT tutor for the last four years. These two things have to do with how you spend your last week of studying. So if you're about to take the MCAT or you're gonna take it in a few months, make sure you do these two things before you walk into that testing center. First, what should you be studying during that final week before the MCAT? There's a lot of advice that I disagree with that's telling you you should focus on a lot of low yield information and try to learn as many new facts as possible. The fact is, is that if you bombard yourself with a lot of new facts, Facts, it's gonna be really hard to actually have those memorized to where you can recall them on the test day and it's really not likely that any of those random low yield facts are gonna actually come up on the test. Instead, what I have my students do during that last week is go through every single topic and try to reteach everything they already know. What that helps them do is find a bunch of gaps and things that they have forgotten that they didn't realize they have forgotten. Because there's so much information on this test, there's almost a guarantee that even in those topics that you know, there are some details that you've forgotten. And if you go back through and reteach everything, you're gonna find those gaps and reinforce them, and then you'll be able to remember them on the test day. And since these facts are things that you already knew, you just forgot, once you reinforce them, they're really likely to stick on test day. So you can find dozens and dozens of small gaps that you have and actually have a real impact on your test. The other thing I have them do has nothing to do with studying or content. It's all about visualizing the test day. What I have my students do is think back to all their practice tests and imagine the different scenarios that came up. This is things like running out of time or encountering a passage that they feel completely lost on, or maybe a question comes up on a topic that they feel like they've never even seen before. Do this for as many scenarios as you can, and then if one of them comes up on the actual test day, and there's a pretty good chance they will, you'll be prepared and have a game plan for how you should react. This is gonna highly reduce the chances of you running into one of these things, and then it spirals into a much bigger test ruining issue.